but uh, you know, it's nice to talk to an audience where I can say I've been in their shoes and, and I've been through some things since leaving that hopefully uh, I can you know, give them some counsel. But uh, ultimately, I think this school will have prepared them well for what they're going to face going forward. Kirk, I had to check my facts when they said 2012. It seems like yesterday, doesn't it? It did. It's gone fast. Uh, these years in pro football have gone very fast. So I'm coming up on my eighth season, and I technically walked in 2011, but I had to finish my degree the following fall. So uh, it took me four and a half years. But uh, life goes fast, and uh, I now am married with two kids. So it's it's amazing to see what happens when you blink. You, you came talked about the football overhang and how it cost you maybe a half. Year. <laughs> Was it worth it? Yeah, I think the football work was worth it. All those 5 a.m. wake-ups and summers spent here as opposed to back home on the lake. You know, you had to sacrifice some things. And uh, at the time, you know, you knew what you were chasing, didn't know if you were going to get it. And uh, where we are now, uh, I feel like I've exceeded any any dreams I had when I was playing here. You came here thinking you, you were going to be a, a doctor. Yeah. Now you are a yeah. doctor from here. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah. you know, the circuitous path that you that led you to the NFL, yeah. I mean, yeah. how, does, how has that journey yeah. been for you? Well, I knew the statistics uh, of playing pro football were 1% of 1%, so I just never planned on it. My plan always was to play college football, hope to get a few snaps in, and then go mm -hmm. on to medical school. And as I went further in my career, got to my junior year, I realized, as I looked around, I got a shot here and uh, I might as well go after it. And so I really put the medical school thing on hold and really chased after my football dream. And I guess I'm still chasing, you know, I'm, I'm eight years in the NFL and I uh, feel very fortunate to be where I am. The Justin Kersaw story I wasn't aware of. I imagine you're still in touch with him today, are you? Yeah, and there were moments, you know, coming from a small school and really not being ready for Big Ten football. There were moments in that first year where I, I really doubted and wondered, am I cut out for this? And will I, will I have staying power, especially with the competitions that I was involved in and the caliber of the people I was competing with? And uh, Justin just put his arm around me and believed in me and encouraged me, and uh, it made all the difference. Kirk, what does it mean to you to be a Spartan, and how did this place impact you? Go down a little bit. Well, you know, it's a, it's a broad question. You know, what does it mean to be a Spartan? Uh, it's hard to encapsulate into a short answer in a few words. I mean, it's, it's the foundation of where my life has gone. When you look at who I was as an 18-year-old when I arrived on campus in 2007 to where my life is now, I think that sums it up. You know, Michigan State was the springboard and the place to stand from which uh, anything I accomplish going forward, we'll, I'll have to look back and, and say it all started.